Hello everyone and welcome to the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist and let's see what happened in the world of tech in Korea for the third week of August. For our first big story of the day, LIG Next One is to develop the Light Torpedo 2 system. LIG Next One announced that it would develop a new Light Torpedo named Light Torpedo 2 after signing a contract with DAPA the Defense Acquisition Program Administration for the Light Torpedo 2 system development project, which is worth 154.9 billion won. LIG Next One plans to actively reflect the latest technology trends based on stealth skills, such as developing a new acoustic detection sensor to improve the Light Torpedo 2's ability to detect and attack enemy submarines. Kim Ji Chan, the CEO of LIG Next One, said, Our company will do its best to develop cutting edge weapons that reflect the fourth industrial revolution tech trends under the cooperation with related organizations and partners so that the Light Torpedo 2 can contribute to the realization of the Navy's smart Navy system and protect the future of the Korean Sea. For our second story, NeoWiz investing in a blockchain gaming platform, Epic League. NeoWiz announced that they have invested in the blockchain gaming platform, Epic League. For this investment, along with NeoWiz, Netmarble, Polygon Ventures, and Ozis, a blockchain technology development company, participated as co-investors. Epic League is a hub platform that connects blockchain games, communities, and clans. NeoWiz plans to seek synergies to expand the ecosystem of their blockchain game platform, IntelliX, through this investment while capturing business opportunities from various angles through continuous investment and strategic partnerships. Up next, we go to our third story. Naver D2SF is making new investment in two healthcare startups. Naver D2SF, or the D2 Startup Factory, held Naver D2SF Media Meetup on the 17th and announced that they made new investments in the healthcare startups Gazi Lab and Predictive. Since it is difficult to find a solution that is needed for myself, needed for the self. Despite high interest in wellness with a large amount of information, Gazi Lab is developing a personalized wellness platform. Predictive is a North American startup which has developed a solution that simulates the possibility of disease and drug susceptibility by creating a digital twin containing genomic analysis information. Song Hwan Yang, leader of Naver D2SF, said, The healthcare market is evolving into customized medical care that can look after each patient's characteristics, daily health management, and preventative medical care through prediction. We are expecting to realize customized health management and preventative care from the two newly invested teams based on their experience in each field of wellness and genome. And finally, for our last big story of the day, OnLab V3 selected as top product for PC vaccine evaluation in the first half of AV test. OnLab received a perfect score, 18 points, in the PC vaccine evaluation in both home user and business user categories in the most recent test held in June of 2022. As a result, OnLab obtained all certifications in AV tests PC vaccine evaluation in the first half of this year. They also have achieved a record of being selected as a top product, which means a top ranking product among global security solutions that participated in the test. Since 2012, it has participated in AV test, a global security product evaluation and has been certified 64 times and was named as a top product 36 times. OnLab is the only security company in Korea that consistently participates in AV test, a global security product certification, and acquires 
certifications with high marks. And now we go on to our news briefs, the smaller stories that we still need to cover. Gungi Content Agency hosting 2022 G Connection Export Consultation. For three days from the 23rd until the 25th, 2022 G Connection Export Consultation will be held for successful business contracts and overseas network expansion of content companies. An official from Gungi Content Agency said, this export consultation is for IP export of all genres of content and we are planning to host second export consultations on November for in-depth consulting and meetup programs. We look forward to seeing results from competitive contents from Gyeonggi-do. For our second story, Metascale partner of WeMade unveils XR Messenger Service Bagel. Bagel is a messenger-oriented metaverse with extended reality, XR services, Users can communicate with their friends through an avatar that can be connected to the user in real life. By applying face and gesture recognition technology, it is possible to implement their own facial expressions and movements. Bagel is planning to launch their first service in Japan in October. Before this, a closed beta service is planned to be implemented first in September. And next, Crazy Alpaca starting to build a customized financial product recommendation solution. Crazy Alpaca is a startup that helps the optimal real estate decision-making process by making predictions from individual real estate market price analysis to different tax amounts according to the user's situation based on big data. And that's gonna do it for the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News this week. My name is Alex Sigris, and I'll see you next week.